in this video I'm going to show you how to use a uh, fairly inexpensive program called Pixelmator to um, create, uh, to take your image and break it into layers and then bring it into motion um, and use those layers uh, to create three dimensions in your video. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I'm going to minimize my head. And I'm just going to leave me up here in the top corner. And let's go ahead and get into Pixelmator. So here we are. Nice picture of downtown Austin looking from South Austin across the Congress Street Bridge up to the uh, Texas State Capitol. Beautiful downtown Austin um, as night is coming on. So uh, one of the great things about this image is we have lots to work with. It also can be sort of a downer as well too because there's a lot of detail here. So um, what you basically want to do is have a foreground, a midground, and a background. With all the layers of depth in this picture, one of the great things that you can do is have a lot of depth to it. So obviously the street part right here up to maybe right about here where the buildings start is a great place to have our foreground. And then like our um, four midground are these buildings right here, this short building, this building here, and this one. And then this would be a back midground, these buildings here, and then further back to the state capitol being the far background and the um, sky being the furthest back. So I've already gone through and broken this all up. I've created a nice sky layer and there's the Texas State Capitol and here's all the other layers coming in. You'll see the, the layers all building up on top of each other and there you go, a nice uh, layered set of downtown Austin. In the next video, what I'll do is I'll show you how I brought that into motion and um, created the depth. All right, and we're back. So we started off here in Pixelmator. I showed you a very quick example of how we broke this image into multiple layers so that we could take it into Apple Motion and create some depth for uh, a 3D effect. So let's go ahead and hop into motion and show you what we've got here. So what we'll do is we will open up this project and here we are. You'll see, if I move this back, that um, I've already brought it in. I've already added some depth to it and I've already added a dinosaur. So let's do a quick playthrough here and show you what we've done. And we'll go back and add more detail. As you see, we have T-Rex walking through downtown. And um, he's probably not going to leave things looking pretty. Um, but that's the way things are right now. All right. So what we need to do is in a new project, we will import our downtown layers that we saved. We'll say import. It'll ask if you want to import it as merge layers or all layers. We want to do all layers so that we can get all that depth there. Here's our image again, and here's all of our individual layers. Excellent. Now what we need to do to be able to create it as a 3D image we need to convert our group into a 3D group. Now that that's been done, we can add we can add some depth here. So oh, and we also need to add a camera. Sorry. Once we add our camera in, then add a camera create um, a 3D layer, and then what we can do is come down here, hit on the yellow icon on the left, um, and we'll see it in 3D. 
So this is sort of our left facing view. This is our camera. And what we can do is we can start taking these different layers, like say the, the background layer and push it back in uh, Z space. And then we can take the Texas State Capitol, push it further back into the background and so on and so forth. And now what we can do is we can take some of these other uh, random background buildings, make sure to grab onto the proper layer, push it back into space. Um, some of these other ones we can leave where they are. Um, take some of these other ones, pull them up. Pull it up. up, pull it up, and now obviously we're going to have to, once we throw it back on this side, we're going to see uh, that we need to hit control A to bring it back like this, and we'll see some strange things going on here, um, but really all that's going to take is a little bit of creativity to move things around. Let's first of all, let's take our background and increase it so that we cover all of the back. And now what we're going to want to do is take some of these layers, street foreground, for example, and we're going to hold the shift key and scale that up. And then start adjusting each of the different layers uh, so that they end up where they're supposed to be, like that. And we can take this one here. Keep kind of tweaking stuff until everything fits together properly and you don't see any weird jaggy lines. Once you've gone through and done that, you can then take whatever your thing is that you want to throw in in there, your motion. Um, in my case, I had put a dinosaur in and drop that in between some of these layers. And then you can have your creature or whatever it is. Uh, going through the um, your scene. That's all there is to it.